Hey, what is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here and DLC for The Shadow War has finally came out and this is the final DLC of Call of Duty World War II's life cycle. At the same time, I'm kind of excited because that means we're getting closer and closer to the release of Black Ops 4, but a part of me is actually really gonna be missing World War II for what it was. Sure, it's not my favorite cut ever, but like towards the end, I really started to enjoy this game and playing it for what it was. Like my love for this game has really been like a roller coaster. That's the best way to describe it. At times, I just did not want anything to do with this game, and then I saw myself grinding and grinding for supply drops, having a good time, so I'm truthfully all over the place with this game, but mostly I'm excited for Black Ops 4. Regardless though, this is about DLC 4, and honestly, it isn't the worst DLC, but it's not the best DLC. Like to me, it's literally just something I'll play to pass the time until BO4 comes out. And if you're looking for that, then I guess pick up this DLC pack. But then again, if you know somebody who already has the Shadow War DLC pack, you can just play with them and by doing so you'll have access to all the multiplayer maps until like October 28th, I believe. So you can either do that, but I don't know, I just don't think I would recommend spending money on this DLC pack because like I said, Black Ops 4 is gonna be coming out almost one month from now. It's literally right around the corner. So honestly, save your money. If you really, really wanna play, then find a friend or somebody that has it so you can play the maps with them. Out of 10 stars, I'm gonna rate this DLC a five out of 10 because like, Really, it just feels mediocre, and again, a part of me feels this way because I am just really looking forward to playing Black Ops 4. The game has been on my mind so much since the beta, so a part of me and a part of my, I guess, love for the current COD just isn't there, which does happen a lot around DLC 4 for any game because I'm so excited for the new one to come out. But then at the same time, you know, the maps just feel meh, like they're okay, but none of them truthfully do stand, stand out to me. Um, my favorite is definitely Airship. I love the snowy map. Um, the layout is pretty good, honestly, too. Most of the action is gonna take place in the middle around that elevated platform. Um, you can really spawn trap the enemy team from the opposite side by head glitching uh, around the barrels. So uh, yeah, I mean, Airship is a decent map. The aesthetics are pretty good too. Um, Chancellery is also an okay map too. It's a nighttime map. The aesthetics are also very, very good. Um, I do find myself to uh, be head glitching at the very top of the mansion sometimes or the little office building. Then Excavation, man, I do not like that map at all. It feels very circular to me and I, I've never been a big fan of maps like that for any game. I, I just, I like three lane maps too. Those are my favorite, but just circular. I, I just hate the flow for, for those style of maps. I don't know. I'm um, not a big fan of, ex of excavation though, but uh, the aesthetics are pretty nice too. I like the old Western underground mining little facility. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, like I said, in general, all of the maps just feel okay to me. Um, Operation Arcane 2, it's, it's okay, it's fun at some times, but uh, I don't know. I guess mainly because I feel this way, like I said, it's because Black Ops 4 is coming out soon and also because a lot of my friends do not play World War 2 anymore, like they've all just kind of ditched the game. Like they'll play a couple games here and there, but that's it, like I'm out of my friends group. Uh, I, I'm I think I'm pretty much the guy that plays it the most plays this game the most and At this point like I'm just burnt out of World War 2 so far. I want the new COD and uh, I guess that can apply to your decision if you want to buy this DLC or not like if you can really wait one more month until Black Ops 4 comes out, then by all means, please do so. But if you absolutely can't, you have to have some form of new COD thing in your life, then I guess get this DLC. But my recommendation would not be to get this DLC. It's not the best, but again, it's also not the worst. DLC pack number three, though, it's my favorite. I think all the maps there were great. Um, I had a review video on that, too, and I said the same thing. Like, I think it's the best DLC pack out of all of World War II. I don't think um, Sledgehammer could ever top that and 
uh, in my opinion, I guess I was right. I don't know, but it is pretty late guys. I do have work in like four hours um, I played this DLC for about like three four hours as well um, I think actually five honestly, and then when I get home from work I have work in like four hours unfortunately, but when I get home I'm gonna play I'm gonna play this DLC a bit more and try it out Maybe I'll have a different opinion, but just as of now it really does feel mediocre It just feels okay to me at the very best but if you guys have different opinions then please tell me down below in the comments also drop a like on the video if you guys did enjoy and thank you for watching till next time i'll see you later